Hi, I'm Rich Heffron. This is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute. I'm going to give you a little bit of a reading assignment. There have been five editorials in the last couple of days, all focused on two things. Revenue sources for the state and the state budget. Number one, yesterday the News Journal talked about the fact that we're facing a revenue problem which causes a budget problem. And their perspective is the legislature and the administration have to start working on that problem now. They can't wait till later in the spring. Now's the time to start figuring out ways to resolve that problem. And that all, all the different factions have to be, you know, be involved in, in that decision making. Also in yesterday's News Journal editorial section, there were two pieces, one by John Stapleford, who is an economist with the Caesar Rodney Group, and John gives you more of the conservative outlook on you know, where the problems are and how we might solve them, and talking about the fact that the economy is still slow and we need economic development. And then Mike Matthews, just below the, one, the editorial by John, is one by Mike Matthews, former president of the American Democratic, Americans for Democratic Action, uh, has a more, it's a more liberal viewpoint. But he talks about the same problem and the fact that we have to find revenue and we have to cut spending, but we have to do it in the right places. I think the, the two of them juxtaposition together give you a good viewpoint of where the, the, two, uh, uh, the two ends of the spectrum are coming from. But more important, uh, there are things in both that I would, wouldn't agree with uh, from the perspective of the business community, and there are others that I would. Also, over the weekend, Senator Nicole Poor wrote a piece uh, centered on the uh, budget study done by the roundtable, uh, which is uh, critical, but she talks about the fact there is a problem and it needs to be resolved, while Paul Morrill from the Committee of Executive Director of Committee 100 talks about, in his piece, talks about spending, the need for inf spending on infrastructure, that, uh, you know, it's important that we find that the revenue and the other, and to switch some spending so that we can meet our obligations. Uh, I think the most important thing about those five pieces is they give you a perspective on where different people are from different uh, political parties and different uh, political uh, spectrums, but also uh, the fact that now there's a serious discussion going on about the budget and the fact that, as we've been stating for quite a while, our revenue sources are not sustainable. And lastly, the governor appointed a committee to look at spending made up primarily of people from the private and nonprofit sector. Our, our appointment to that committee is, is Rick Geisinger from Capital One, also appointments from the Delaware Roundtable and some other nonprofits. Uh, but more important, the chairman is going to be Fred Sears. Fred has served in public office on the city council where he was uh, finance chairman. Also, he served as city commerce director. He worked for a number of banks before going into the uh, into the uh, pub back into the nonprofit sector with the uh, Delaware Community Foundation, where he's the executive director. So he has a he understands the budget both from a public service viewpoint and also from somebody looking from the outside and uh, from the business community. Uh, I think it's a good point. They're good appointments, and they will be reporting back to the governor and the administration and the legislature in January. So we'll have some idea of uh, what direction at least they think we should head in and where the problems are in the budget. There are enough studies out there now. There's enough discussion. Now's the time for action. Thank you for watching.